Is the new heavy machine gun stratagem in Helldivers 2 worth it? I spent a week with the best weapon from Metal Slug to really get a feel whether it was viable in high level content. So I equipped it. Heavy machine gun. And convinced myself I was a young Somalian boy trapped on a certain someone's island, and Stephen Hawking was after me. Yet my only chance of escape was the new heavy machine gun. I would cling to it like my night light after watching too many Markiplier Freddy Fazguy Let's Plays. But luckily, I wasn't scared or testing the weapon alone. As I was joined by my community, the Juicebox Club. Join, join the Discord down below. The heaviest machine gun takes up one stratagem slot, and when equipped, it will be held in your heavy weapon position. And as I was lugging around the heavy machine gun's dump truck, I wanted to know if it was both viable in high level content and, don't get scared by this one my dearest viewer, was it fun? It cost 6,000 liberty bucks and is described as very powerful but difficult to wield with intense recoil. Which I found quite funny as that's how I describe your dad after two drinks. This description was indeed accurate as trying to aim this thing is like a Minecraft YouTuber trying not to groom their audience. It is very hard. By default the weapon is set to 750 rounds per minute and at this fire rate the sight will kick and scream much like myself when it's bedtime. Look at me even tired. Firing at this fire rate also highlighted another issue of the weapon. You would lose ammo quicker than a Minecraft YouTuber losing their moral compass seeing an underage girl in their Discord. The gun's difficulty to aim and quickly depleting ammo was very noticeable and talking to my community I heard these issues from others as well. And this is a shame as if you can hit your shots however limited those shots may be, the damage of the heavy machine gun absolutely rips. Enemies of all types will get shredded like they've climbed into a democracy-sized blender. This was interesting. The weapon is very strong, but its aim and ammo were getting in the way of utilizing that strength. So I ran over to the R&D department and said, yo, where's the heat? First of which I equip the ammo pack, which has four resupplies, and your resupplies are resupplied by resupplies, if that makes sense. This, coupled with slowing the fire rate down to 450 rounds per minute, made the ammo issue non-existent. And fighting both bots and bugs on level 7 difficulty, I found I could use the heavy machine gun for most of the level, only having to resort to my other weapons to defend myself during its long reload, or if I had died and not retrieved it again. The long reload time did make some scenarios difficult, as you need to take into account your positioning against the bots, and having some clearance versus the bugs. But long reloads on heavy weapons isn't anything new to the game, so just be wary of that. And voila, the weapon is perfect. The creek has been captured, and everyone went home happy and safe. Together we all had some nice Milo and played Banjo-Kazooie on the N64. Oh wow, how fun. What silly characters they do these silly little... What are you talking about? You can't hit anything. <laughs> oh yeah, we never address the elephant in the room. But in my defense, I thought that guy was pretty chill. But even with the healthy supply of ammo making the weapon last longer than Johnny Sins, it still sucks to aim. The recoil is nuts, and if you keep it on a high fire rate, your sight jumps around like a Minecraft YouTuber. They're always jumping in their videos. Why are you looking at me like that? In an attempt to mitigate the recoil, I played with and without the armor that would reduce recoil while crouching or prone by 30% and I noticed a massive difference in absolutely nothing. If there is a difference, I could not feel it. It probably doesn't help that the sight and where the bullets land don't even line up.
This can happen in games where the target is too close as the sight sits above the barrel, but at some point they should line up. And come on, Helldivers isn't a realistic shooter. <laughs> Let's not try and unravel bullet trajectory when a robot with chainsaws for hands is chasing me. When aiming the heavy machine gun in third person as well, there is no sight in third person view. So there is potential that the gun is bugged and will get fixed at a later date. This could also be why I didn't notice any difference when it came to the armor affecting weapons recoil. But again, I'm not sure if it actually was affecting and I just didn't notice anything. And I have no way of proving whether the weapon not having a third person sight isn't intended or not. Just something to keep in mind. The weapon also had a peak fire rate of 1200 rounds per minute. And that was nerfed to 900 right after I finished this script. So take everything I say with a grain of crack because they keep updating the game. Please, let me slumber without missing a content drop. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, recoilating armor. I would not be using this arm in an attempt to make the weapon easier to shoot. But after some time, I did find that just hip firing at 400 rounds per minute and making sure I was crouching or proning as I was firing, <coughs> the weapon was much easier to use than trying to deal with the jumpy sight. You just need to follow your shots almost like you are firing traces. It probably looks very silly in the footage, but doing this for some time actually became quite fun. There's not much this gun doesn't kill, and getting to run around and fart on everything bar a bile titan with the angriest bullets in town made me feel like the squad's heavy machine gunner, like we were playing some sort of class-based game. Things got even goofier when I was able to sneak up on enemies and then get some use out of the higher fire rate as they were sitting ducks. And I feel that's the make or break of the gun. Everything's a sitting duck if you have the clearance to let loose and use the high damage that this bad boy brings. To help with that, I started bringing the bubble shield to help give me some cover for the long reload times. And if you get hit and flinch with the heavy machine gun, its physical movement is very slow, giving it a long recover time. This was mainly against the bots, as they would constantly shoot at you, even if you were so far away you were in the nether. The bugs, on the other hand, would run you down, making reload the issue once again. But the moment you get that trigger held down again, there isn't much stopping you. So make sure to take the extra ammo and bring down that fire rate to get the most out of it. And don't worry about the goofy side. You'll get much more value from hip firing and you can definitely hip fire your way around some high level content and have some fun doing so. And if you found some handy tidbits with this weapon, share them down below. And let me know what weapon or stratagem you want to see next. Shout out to my Twitch subscribers and YouTube members. Thank you for supporting the channel. And if you want to do the same, click the join button down below or come hang out on the streams. Join my Discord for memes. Oh, can I do a diabolical fart launch? Oh, no, too diabolical. No! <laughs> I had super samples, dude.